Interesting facts about the Bible, part 45. Did you know that the Bible describes a series of events that must happen for Yeshua's second return? I mentioned in my part 43 that after the Euphrates dries up, the beast, dragon, and false prophet will spit out three unclean spirits like frogs. When they have done this, they will go out and rally the nations to go to war against Yeshua, who they know is coming soon, and his people. Revelation 11 states that the beast will then kill two witnesses of God. After three and a half days, they are resurrected and taken directly to God. Zechariah 14 tells us that next, God's people are being ravaged by the nations. They will need rescue. Matthew 24, 22 says that if the days weren't cut short, then no one would be delivered due to the amount of persecution God's peoples are facing. In Zechariah 14, 4, it states that Yeshua will come down in the east of Jerusalem. Remember, Messiah comes from the east and will put his feet on the Mount of Olives, splitting it in two, creating a valley for his people to run into for a shelter. At this time, we see the 144,000 that receive the seal of God and are taken to Messiah. According to Revelation 7, these are taken to Messiah before the rest of the vast multitude of those coming out of the tribulation. These 144,000 are called the first fruits in Revelation 14.4. They are called virgins who did not defile themselves with women. Many believe this means that they have only ever worshipped Adonai. Israel was often swayed to worship false gods by marrying pagan women who brought in their idols. So it is probably referring to this and not actual virginity. It's a sign of their purity. These are taken to Messiah first and go with him wherever he goes. Many believe that they are the martyrs spoken about in Revelation 6, 9, and 10. They are the remnants of the tribes of Israel that stayed true to God. Many believe that when Yeshua returns to Israel and splits the Mount of Olives that the people who are rescued and run to him are these 144,000 that are in Israel at this time. It isn't that others aren't saved. We can see in Revelation 7 and in Revelation 14 that the 144,000 come first, thus they're called the first fruits. Then the rest of the saved are taken to Messiah. After this, Yeshua destroys the nations that are coming against him and his people. He then throws the beast and false prophet into the lake of fire.